£359 for a modern Mizuno iron set is a pretty good price second hand. So how about brand new? That's right, £359, five to pitch and wedge Mizuno iron. Thank you to the boys at Replay Golf for supplying me with these hot metal 919 irons. Let's talk about the deal. Let's talk about the pros. Let's talk about the cons. You're going to have to act quick, though, if you want this deal, as it's definitely a part of a Black Friday promotion. Oh, that is absolutely caned. Got to love a chunky cavity back. Now this isn't a paid promotion, just like a lot of you, I was looking over the internet on the weekend, Black Friday deals, and one definitely piqued my interest, which is the time of filming this and hopefully uploading this tonight, you will still be able to take advantage of. And at 359 pounds, five to pitching wedge for this set of irons, well, that's very close to what these would go for, well, second hand. But if you're a bit late, and you're not in time to find this deal online, and this is obviously something that would pique your interest, it's not just all about these irons. I want to talk about what I deem as good value and the tools that you can use to obviously determine the same, because these irons might not be for everyone. They're definitely for the beginner end of the spectrum, highly forgiving, and to be honest, you're only gonna get these sets of irons in one particular shaft option. But when you weigh up the value of what you're getting and also the second hand value if you weren't to get on with them well it's kind of a no-lose situation and a great example of this is the pxg 0211 lineup did a video recently probably about three to four weeks ago on their driver came out at 219 then as a lot of you commented and made me aware went up to 319 pounds for probably about two weeks and now is back down to 199 and when you weigh up the shaft, the head, the grip options, customization, you name it, at 199, that is good value for what you're getting. Not to mention, if you weren't to get on with it, you're gonna get a good portion of that value back in the secondhand market. That was heavy out the toe and gone an absolute mile. And I use that tool for basically anything. If you're gonna spend 450 pounds on a driver, please, by all means, go and get club fitted. Actually, I say you should never buy a 450 pound driver unless it is fitted for you specifically. However, if your mate Dave just bought a tailor-made self-driver and isn't getting on with it because he had a swing change and is selling it to you for 200 pounds, 180 pounds, and you think the shaft might be all right and you think the loft is somewhat okay, well then, that is good value. Because again, if you don't get on with it, you're gonna sell it for pretty much the same amount of money. And ultimately, when it comes to golf, the only way we truly know a club works for us is out on the golf course. And for that reason, coupled with, this is a big name brand, this is Mizuno. When it comes to irons, arguably one of my top picks out of all of them when it comes to high quality, good, looking functional and these hot metal irons are super forgiving so the fact you can only get them in a regular flex steel decent shaft by the way i don't really have any reservations because if you don't get on with them which i'll be highly surprised well i'm not going to lose sleep because trying to get rid of them is going to be quite easy for you to move on to the next one and apart from the one lucky sod which i'll show you down here on the right hand side that somehow scoop these up for 147 pounds. You can see second hand wise, comfortably 300 pounds second hand in good condition, which I would say is very much right for this particular iron. And to be honest, it goes to show the times have changed. And I'm quite thankful to see it as I can now start recommending you decent quality cavity back forge, high brand options for around the 300 pound mark, which is a good kind of budget to build a very decent bag on. And to back up my recommendation, this is for a beginner golfer, very much so. Big cavity back, de-lofted, only gonna have a regular flex shaft option. And to be honest, if you're just starting this game, six months, year, maybe two years, 
A club fit is somewhat questionable because a club fitter has no idea where your game's gonna be. You're gonna practice loads, you're gonna have loads of lessons, are you gonna get faster? Are you actually gonna reduce club head speed just so you can try and get a bit more finesse, a bit more control? Therefore, if you get fitted into a graphite or a light flex or maybe X stiffs too early, who's to say you're gonna need that in six months? And it's not to say the club fitter is wrong, it's just a question of, do you need to invest a thousand pound on a brand new set of JPX 921 irons in the hot metals with maybe one degree upright and slightly longer, whatever it might be, or are you worth just taking the less risk adverse? Maybe you don't have the exact shaft you need. Maybe you don't have a quarter an inch length on the end of it, but you get a lovely little set of irons that you can play with, grow with, improve with over the course of the year, and you're only going to lose 50 to 100 pounds opposed to 500 if you were to buy a brand new set. That's all I ever determine good value on. If you spend 450 pounds on a driver and use it for a month, I don't see that as good value. But if you use it for the next five years and it helps get your handicap down, who am I to say don't spend 450 pounds as I've done that multiple times when I started this game. I just know how diverse we are. I know how erratic we are and I know how addicted we get at this game so early on that we love to chop and change. We love to mix up clubs. And that's why I love making these kinds of videos, just to offer something a tiny bit different. Big name brand, great value, that potentially is able to scratch that itch. But worst case scenario, if you don't get on with it and it doesn't work outside on a place like this, well then you're not gonna really lose that much sleep if you were to sell them. And lastly, before I show you where we found this deal, I do try and reply to as many messages as I can. And a lot of you asking, is this a good deal? Have I paid the right price for this driver? Irons, wet, whatever it might be. And all I ever do is go on to recently sold listings. 359 pounds for these irons a couple of years ago, mid pandemic, would have been an absolute steal. But looking at the state of the market, brand new, yes, very good, second hand, well, that's kind of about right. Potentially a tiny bit expensive. So just go on the fact of what everyone else is paying. Because if everyone else is paying a tiny bit more than what you get them for, well, then it's going to be very easy to sell and you're not necessarily going to have to wait a couple of months to shift them. Absolutely gone. Only downside of cavity back irons is that you could easily hit a seven iron 150 yards or 200 yards, depending on the wind and the conditions. Hence why when you get better at this game, that's why you typically go to the more slimmer side of the iron spectrum. Now I believe this deal only to be available in the UK and I'm filming this on Monday the 28th and I believe it's a part of the Black Friday deal. So if you're watching this on Tuesday, you've probably missed out. But I'm hoping through watching this video, you get a good understanding of how to find your own deals as well. Type in JPX 919 Hot Metal into your Google search engine. Could be the first listing there. Five to pitch in wedge with nip-on shafts, regular flex, steel, one year warranty, JPX 919 Hot Metals. It's been a while since we mentioned Clubhouse Golf on the channel for some of you OGs but a deal is a deal and this is a very good one guys if you like this video you might like my american golf deal up here on the left hand side catch you guys later